Okay, we had some anchor drama. We are at Black Point. We came in last night uh, and we're preparing for a blow today. Uh, 25 knot winds from the north, so we're fairly protected. Yeah, last night it was blowing from the south, so we, we had a good hook. Went out for dinner, came back, slept. Wind clocked around this morning. We went to go do laundry. I dingied back and forth, filling up our tanks with water. Final trip, we both got back on the boat, happily preparing lunch. And I noticed that Jenna Bird, one of our buddy boats, is suddenly really close to us and slowly getting closer. So I looked behind and they were probably at that point maybe eight meters away. I started the engine, um, jumped on the radio and warned them that we were uh, slowly coming close to them and uh, possibly having an unintended rafting. Greg went back up to the anchor to undo our bridle. Uh, I was at the helm and started to move the boat forward but our dinghy was behind us and pressed up between us and Jenna Bird because the tow line was really loose and so it got caught in our propeller. So, <laughs> anchor's not up yet, <laughs> but it's not catching on anything. We started going back really fast. I yelled up at Greg to say that the dinghy line was caught in the prop and then moved all this stuff so I could uh, use our pump to pump the prop out of the water. Start unwrapping the rope from the prop, which is now out of the water because of uh, Diana's pumping. She runs up to the front and grabs a fender to fend off the really close at this stage Jenna Bird. Harry from Jenna Bird is on the, the bow of his boat and he can reach out and touch Cat's way by this, uh, by this stage. We get the line off the prop, we drop the prop and with Harry reaching out to push uh, Cat's way off uh, his boat, we um, go hard to port because we need to get the stern of the boat away from Jenna Bird's anchor line now. So Greg runs back to haul up the anchor. I start moving forward but I look backwards and I realize that the dinghy tow line is going to do the exact same thing. So I, you know, use precious seconds, run back, undo the dinghy, pull it to the side. Uh, there are multiple people now shouting at me to go forward, so I hand towed our dinghy <laughs> with the line in my hand over the side <laughs> and just like rev the engine so we were clear of Jenna Bird's anchor road. I run to the front and start frantically pulling up the anchor and... And now we're re-anchored. So it was a stressful lunch. After our ordeal, we dove on the anchor to put our minds at ease. We followed the chain and we're happy to see the anchor buried in soft sand. With our boat secured, we went spearfishing with our friends on Borea and Spirisipula. The reef is located at the northwestern tip of the bay. We highly recommend visiting as it was the most amazing roof we've seen in the Exumas. In 1992, a hurricane smashed an aquarium tank in Florida. About half a dozen spiny, venomous lionfish washed into the Atlantic Ocean. They are now one of the most aggressively invasive species on the planet. They're also yummy and we'd been searching for one since we arrived in the Bahamas. So now we had to prepare it. Um, so you need to cut off all the spiky parts pretty much. They have venomous. Uh, what was it? Dorsal, anal, anal, and pectoral? Yeah. It's like you just give him a hiccup. Okay, we're gonna cut it super close. I think it's only in the tips, but you know, it's our first lionfish, so. I'm kind of making a mess of it. Alright, and then these ones, they look venomous, so they're gonna go. Okay, so, let's uh, get rid of these spikes first.
first time doing a live fish. The next day we traveled in for the first Friday of February festival at Farmer's Key, also affectionately known as the five F's. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow! That is a big cover. So we just tried to make bread for the first time in our solar cooker. And it turned out okay! Obviously we ate some already. So we're gonna eat it with the butter and maybe some cheese. Fancy breakfast! <laughs> The festival is a regatta and traditional Bohemian wooden sailing vessels from around the Bahamas are shipped in to take part. The best view is from Ty's Sunset Bar and Grill. I used to be in the water. This is what happens when you have too much fun at the FFFF. <laughs> FFFFF festival. The Bahamian sailing vessels have huge masts and sail area compared to the length of the boat. This ratio results in boats having crews of four or more to act as ballast. Ty, the owner of Ty's Sunset Bar and Grill, saw us training Acro on the beach. He invited us to perform for his VIP guests, including movie producer Will Packer and his wife Heather. After our performance, we invited some people to try acro. Heather was a natural. After the festival, we went exploring with our friends from Jenna Bird and Spirosipula. We followed a shoe marked path to a freshwater cave. started to grow a stalactite on the bucket, which is kind of cool. Greg's in the water. He's walking towards the light. <laughs> How is it, Amy? It's lovely. It's like swimming for water. The cave was home to a colony of bats and small freshwater shrimp that enjoyed munching on our toes.
Our final morning in Farmer's Key dawned bright and calm. The boats surrounding us looked like they were floating on air, and it was so still we could see a starfish moving six feet under the water. We've reached our furthest point south here in Long Island and are now northbound. You can see our current location on our live map, link in the description. If anyone has any tips on spearing a lobster, please comment below. Thanks for watching!